Mr. Aloha Honeybee. What's happening guys? You got a bunch of coconuts here on the ground. Yeah we do. And they look all different and... <laughs> yeah we got some sprouted coconuts right here and uh, we these were on the ground when we got them yeah? Yeah. So we're not quite sure if these are jellies or what but that's a shaker right there. Um, these might be jellies or spoons. Jelly we'll shaker and sprouted. You got to show us in a second what all that means. We'll but. check it out. Here's my little disclaimer. If you want the real coconut information, check out my friend Ryan on Instagram. He just put out this little booklet that is absolutely gorgeous. Nice. This little booklet he just put out is epic. Everything from um, how to process coconuts to recipes that you can make with the coconut meat and water and everything. So um, if you want the real information, check out Ryan at Coconut Information on Instagram. Because I'm planning on uh, gardening in the Pacific Northwest coming up, mm -hmm. which folks will see, but um, I wish I can grow coconuts, like, endlessly. You're going to have to try. Well, at, least, gonna... at least get a really, really tall greenhouse so we can at least attempt, right? Well, I'm going to use this information right here. Yeah, right here. This. Check it out. Okay, cool. Okay, we find a coconut tree, and I've seen all around Kauai, the coconuts look different depending on what tree they're in. Yeah, definitely. Um, there's, I think there's... a over a hundred different varieties of coconuts wow. and then they're hybridizing all the time because they're crossing and you get everything from golden golden ones to green ones and and I would actually call this somewhere between a green and a gold and um, every there's a lot of variance in them from um, seed to husk ratio to the sweetness of the water um, so when you're when you're looking for coconuts, those are some of the main things that you want to look for. Yeah, we're going to make fresh coconut milk today uh, to let you guys try for your last day. It's one of the most special things um, and it is the key ingredient to curries. Every time we make curry, we have to make fresh coconut milk because it really, it makes it really, really good. I'm so jealous. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, so show us what you got okay. here. So we're going to bust open one of these sprouted ones and we'll see if we can find some coconut foam. There's a sprouted coconut. Yeah, so this is a tool right here. Um, this is one of my key tools in uh, my quiver for opening coconuts. It's um, rebar with probably some type of car part here welded on and, and uh, Let's see that. shaped down like this. So it's kind of like a duck beak for prying. Yeah. So this is how it works. You'll just stab it in and spread. Wow. That was like some ASMR action going on. That was very satisfying. So once you get to that point, you can husk it. There you go, you got the nut here. Nice. We'll take the back of the uh, machete. Rotate. Oh, there you go. That one kind of got a little dirty there, but yeah, basically right there, that's the cocoa foam. Sweet. So I guarantee you, 90% of folks have never seen this before. <laughs> so the water turns into this. Yep. Is that right? Yep. All the sugars. Wow. Let me get real close on that. That's crazy. And that's what will feed the sprout in its young stage. And you can eat this, yeah? Like styrofoam? Yeah, it's kind of like styrofoam, exactly. Wow. So let's bust that up and let's try some. Wow, dude. I don't know if you can take a piece out of there so we can kind of see. What is it like? Is it like cream or is it like styrofoam? Wow, it's like cotton candy or something. It's like a little dirty, but... That's so crazy. I mean, is it good? Is it coconutty? Is it sweet? It definitely doesn't taste coconutty like the common coconut flavor. It's subtly sweet, 
Most of the sugars are gone at this point. It's more of a texture thing, mm. a little bit of moisture. It's kind of interesting. I saw somebody uh, in the vegan community lately, my friends at Miami Fruit, using it as a bun mm. for like raw vegan burgers. I saw that picture. That looks like a really great idea. We might have to try that one. Cool. Cut it and uh, slice it into um, buns. And mm. So, yeah, here, you try. Wow, awesome. Thank you. It's so bizarre, it almost like, I mean, it feels fake. It doesn't feel, like if I saw this on the ocean, I would have screamed at somebody for polluting, for polluting. Well, but it is kind of like a little juicy. I dig that. I would eat that all day long. Hmm, that's good. Can I give this to you a second? Yeah. Sprouted coconut. Thank you. Looks like cotton candy. Is it gonna taste like cotton candy? I don't know. Tell us. Tastes like styrofoam. <laughs> mm -hmm. But a little bit sweeter. But edible, yeah, it's like dissolving. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's really it's like just like watery hmm. styrofoam. Cool. Mm. Jelly is like the youngest, spoon meat is second where you kinda wanna get it out with a spoon. Mm. Oh, and then rubber, and then it comes rubber meat. The Whoa. rubber meat, and then the shaker. So let's check this out, let's see what we got. I think this is gonna be more like spoon meat. Skills, my friend, that was pretty good. Jelly. Whoa, <laughs> that's the thunder right there. Just go for it? Yeah. All right. That's good. So how come sometimes if I get one like a little fermented at like some of the farmer's markets, maybe it's like a little overripe or something? Yeah, it's just gonna be the age of it. That effervescence that you get from them is quite nice sometimes. Yeah, this one's like- Young. Like water. Yeah. Like really good. Yeah. Awesome. So that one we just drank super young, but you're saying kind of the longer you wait, it might get sweeter? Yeah, I think the longer you wait, uh, the sweeter it gets um, to a point, and then you'll start to lose your sweetness after a point. Um, and the effervescence build up and almost get carbonated. And that's my favorite point to drink a coconut is when uh, it's like coconut champagne and it's got carbonation and a little bit of sparkle to it. Um, that that's to me is, is top-notch coconuts that's, like that's coco really, kombucha or something coconut kombucha yeah kind mm. of uh, without without t tampering with it it's just like built in nice this is gonna be spoon meat or rubber meat So you're not even a serious vegan unless you have a machete. <laughs> so what's this one? This is gonna be spoon meat. Whoa. This that means we drink it and then the meat you can spoon out of there. Yeah, and I think it'll taste better than the, the last one. Oh yeah, that one's like, tastes like it has sugar in it. I mean, that one's way better. Wow, that's awesome. All right, so folks out there who grab Ryan's coconut information book, they'll learn that there's so many different stages of yeah. the age of a coconut, and this one's called a shaker. Yeah, this is just a shaker right here, and you can tell it's a shaker when you put it up to your ear and you listen to this. You hear that? You can hear the water sloshing around in it, and that lets you know this is a, a pretty mature coconut. And at this point, and to the point of when they're brown and dry and still can shake is the age of the coconuts that we look for to make the milk with. So this is perfect for making milk. The meat's gonna be really thick. Uh, the fat content's gonna be really high. Um, the water, it's not gonna be that great for drinking the water. 
Um, you can eat the meat, but it's going to be that hard, thick, tough meat. So we prefer just to make milk at this point with these. And if folks here are watching my Vegan Athlete YouTube channel, they'll see how you and I went to go to a property here on Kauai and rescue a colony of bees. Yep. And we just found these coconuts from a tree they had cut down on the ground. Yep. They were going to throw them in the landfill or something. Yep. They were clearing out the uh, two buildings that we were at that we were saved the bees from one of them and the trees in the area were getting cut down as well so Jake was wise enough to <laughs> scoop these up and save these coconuts before they got pushed into a landfill or into the green waste pile or something so smart move Jake. Shaker. Shaker. Let's see what it looks like here. Yeah. Uh, shakers usually I'll, I'll open with this thing again. Everybody loves this. Wow. talks about how hard it is to get into coconuts and that's true unless you've got the right tools don't bring a knife to a gunfight and don't bring a, <laughs> a hand to a coconut use the right tools that's right Oh, there you go. There's the bowling ball holes there. Nice. <laughs> what animal does that look like? <laughs> <laughs> like a panda bear or something, like a, a red panda. Something, right? So again, I'll take the back of the machete to this. You can use a cleaver if, if you're inside your house or whatever. It broke the seal? It did. <laughs> Here it comes. So. It's like a soda can opening up. And this is the beauty. I got a kind of face. It's not nice. a panda. Ew. It's like Hollywood style coconut right there. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. See the milk right there? Hold on, hold on. Of course. Look at the milk right there when I stab mm. it. It's already making milk. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's ready. It's a milker. <laughs> Boom. Oh, I know it. Wow. This one. Yeah. We're here in the kitchen. We're in the kitchen. We've got this um, older coconut meat right here from Shakers. Um, this is the high fat, high oil meat that's going to be nice and crunchy. Um, and we're going to load up the blender with it here, as well as this fresh water. This is a uh, good water, actually, not the water from the old cocoa that the meat came from, but younger, better tasting coconuts. So the water is top notch. No, I'm gonna go ahead and just pour it all right in. Take all this meat in this water. We're gonna go ahead and give it a good blend. 
and then we'll strain it. Big ups the Vitamix. <laughs> and it's important you drive your Vitamix like a race car. Start out in first gear, end up in sixth gear. Don't jump straight to six. <laughs> Got our nut milk bag, got our blended meat and water. Oh, it's kind of full. <laughs> wow, that's like thick. Cheesecloth. Nut milk bag. Nut milk bag. Not your mom, not your milk. <laughs> I've seen that expression before. <laughs> Cocos. Coco milk. Good to go. Pizza crust. Nice. Props on the beautiful kitchen that you built behind you too. Thank you. Appreciate it. You guys built the house, yeah? Yep. Wow. Built the farm, built the garden, built the house. <laughs> We've been in the house about a year now. Why don't you guys have your own show on television? <laughs> You're inspiring us. Is the pulp. I saw the pulp. That's dry. Dry goods. That's kind of a weird way to do it. <laughs> That's it. Just scoot right out of the bowl there. <laughs> yeah, yes. I didn't have a scooper, but yeah. Fresh coconut milk right here. From nut to milk. Awesome. Give you and Nicole. That was great. You guys gotta try it. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Cheers. Thank you. Oh my god. Whoa. Whoa. See, coming off of the water, this tastes even better now because like... Yeah, this tastes really good. You're expecting to taste coconut water, but it's like sweet, creamy. It tastes like... This is like really cream. Mm. Like half and half. Seriously. Milk of the heaven. <laughs> this wow. This really good. That was so simple too. That's it. I'm not moving to British Columbia. I'm moving to Kauai. <laughs>